just have to meet them where they want to be met. We hear a lot about uh, a lot of these uh, you know, millennials graduated from college, huge amounts of uh, student debt, unable to get uh, financing. Uh, at the same time, you hear that Des Moines, Iowa is leading the nation in the number of first-time home buyers. Right. So what is the true story here in Des Moines? Well, there is no question, and I serve on an on a educational board at Iowa State, and, and student debt is a real challenge. And these millennials are coming out with student debt like they've never had before. I think there's a difference in Iowa, however, with the jobs that they're able to get right out of school and the, and the amount of them, especially in the financial services sector. Yes, there's debt, but when you're making a wage uh, and starting a career at the levels that we're seeing in Des Moines versus cost of living, I think these guys are able to overcome that debt easier here in, in Des Moines than they are in lots of other markets. Um, I worry about the markets around the country where you are getting a lot of student debt but they just don't have the uh, work, the, the cost of living and the what you'll earn balance that we have in Des Moines. Those are, those are real problems, there's no question. We need to keep high wage jobs uh, growing in Des Moines and I think we'll be able to meet those challenges. I know the universities, colleges and universities are focused on it. They need to graduate people faster. Um, and I think if we kind of work towards the middle, I think we'll get there but I feel a lot better getting there from Iowa than I would in, in California or New York or down south. Yeah, there's a lot of markets where uh, it, despite student debt, they just can't afford right. entry-level housing because yeah. entry-level housing would be at the high end of our market. Exactly. Okay, uh, not the move-up end of our market. Right, and, and a lot of those guys, you know, there are cost of living adjustments, but they're, not, they're nowhere near to meet the housing adjustments. In other words, you could be in New York you know, you could be somebody making uh, out of college fifty, sixty thousand in Des Moines. You might make ninety thousand in New York City, and that's roughly a thirty percent delta. Well, the housing is about a three hundred percent delta. So, right. those are huge gaps to overcome when you're in those markets. Um, 